Hi everybody, Gina Fiddler again, and this is my little furry helper, Fenway. My devotion today is about what dogs can teach us about God. Did you know dogs are mentioned more than a dozen times in the Bible? St. Francis of Assisi talked to the animals, and he even tamed a wolf because he believed they were creatures of God like us. And of course, dog is God spelled backwards. God made dogs for us to have as companions and helpers and for the immeasurable pleasures and happiness they give us. Obviously, there is something very human about dogs. Is there something very godlike about us? With all that God created, would it be unreasonable to think that God also made dogs to teach us about his love? To me, that seems like something God would do. Think about it. A dog's love is unconditional. No matter what we do, they love us. They never hold a grudge. God's love for us is unconditional. Read Exodus. Those Israelites were never satisfied, always grumbling, but Moses fought for them and God forgave them. Then God, God sent Jesus to save us from our own sinful nature. Jesus died for our sins. Now, if that's not unconditional love, I don't know what is. Dogs depend on us for everything. They yearn to bring us pleasure and to feel that we love them. Is that not how God wants us to be towards him? Can we say we love God as much as our dog loves us? One of my favorite poems is called The Creation by an unknown author. When God made the earth and the sky, the flowers and the trees, he then made all the animals, the fish, the birds and the bees. And when at last he finished and no one was quite the same, he said, I'll walk this world of mine and give each one a name. And everywhere he went, a little creature followed him until its strength was spent. When all were named upon the earth and in the sky and the sea, the creature said, Dear Lord, there's not one left for me. Kindly the father said to him, I've left you to the end. I've turned my own name back to front and called you dog, my friend. Thank you and God bless you.